In this demonstration we're going to have a look at how we can configure multicast transmission with Windows deployment services. The advantage of this is we can push an image out to multiple machines in one go. So what we're going to do to start with is we've come into our Windows deployment server utility. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to multicast transmissions. And within multicast transmissions we're going to right click and what we're going to do here is create a multicast transmission. Then what we'll do is we'll fill out the table. We're going to call this Windows Server 2012 R2 branch servers and select next. Then what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to select our Windows Server 2012 image group and we're going to select our Windows Server image and we'll select next. On the multicast type we're going to go for autocast so as it says here it starts the transmission automatically when a client requests the image. Then as other clients request the same image, they may also be joined or will also be joined to the transmission that's already started. Or we can do a scheduled cast, starts transmission based on the following criteria. And we can start, for example, when the number of clients request the image is, for example, five, or we can start at a later time, so start overnight, for example. But we will go with autocast and select next. Then what we'll do is we shall select finish. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating a multicast transmission. Thank you.